Well, here we go, boys. We got another batch to put up here. These are uh, PMI or elemental results on these knives and not Rockwell numbers. Okay, so we're not gonna have Rockwell hardness on here, but we will be able to show you the XFR analyzer, or as we call it, the PMI gun, the scan showing the elements to confirm whether you know, the steel is as claimed and, you know, maybe give you some elements to look at and so you can kind of familiarize yourself with the different steels. So we have 12 knives here. Four and four is eight and three is 12. <laughs> okay, we were supposed to have 12 knives here, but the Ferrum Forge Stinger in Nitro V is not here on the table. So imagine it in your heads or look it up on Google whatever. It's a great knife. I dyed the scales in blue and I sold it on my last table sale because I forgot about it being in this batch and I hadn't done it yet. Uh, but I do have the actual elemental scan results. And then the rest of these knives are probably household names. You know, things like Free Tiger, Free Wolf, Free Willy. No, that's Petrified Fish, uh, SRM, uh, critical strike <laughs> you know hey hey why not why not oh we got qsp we got spiderco so i mean we got probably two knives that most people are familiar with and other than that forget about it which is good i mean that's the whole point of doing this elemental stuff anyhow is because i mean these are going to be the more likely ones to screw you over and lie about the steel type if anybody's going to uh, so let's start out with number one with the Free Tiger. Now this Free Tiger FT911, I believe that's what it is. Yeah, FT11, not 911, FT11. And, and so the first one that we ever did on uh, when we checked the steel was the FT903. And they claimed that to be D2, and we checked it, and yes, it is D2. I bought mine on Amazon. I think I bought this on Amazon, too. Or I might have got this off of AliExpress. So this is the FT11, but it's not claiming to be D2. It's claiming to be 14C28N. Now, uh, we did an FT611, I believe that was the number on it, and it had steel scales. And I bought that one on Amazon, and guess what? That was not D2 as claimed. It was 8CR13. So I go, whoa, 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 stop. You know, because I thought all the free tigers would test as per, but that one didn't. So we went right back to the cage on this one. Although this is this is a solid, nice knife like this one is. Uh, so these are very, very similar. In fact, that one's... I like this one better, actually, and 14C28N, uh, and this is a really cool knife. Comes in different colors. And here's the uh, scan results of the Free Tiger FT11, 14C28N. Yes, per Sandvik, you know, chems, etc. So here's your vanadium, chromium, uh, manganese, uh, you know, iron, etc. So, yes, it is 14C28N. Next is a Free Wolf. Free Wolf. And so, uh, there's the high-end gift box. Okay. As it says, it's high-end. I wrote on here because it doesn't say anything on this whole deal. But this is Free Wolf. Saw this on AliExpress. I, I think there's probably a guy that brought my attention to this... Uh, this knife, and they have them either all G10 or you can get it with a little carbon fiber uh, inlay in it, and it says D2. So, yeah, it, it's kind of right in there with the Free Tiger, the Ganzos, you know, and they're very inexpensive knives. I think maybe $27, something like that. 
here's the results. Yes, it is D2 because his scanner is programmed to pick up D2. So there's your chromium. It's a 12% chromium. Sometimes we see uh, the chromium in the 11 point something up to like 12 something. So there's your vanadium level. Sometimes we can see vanadium as high as like 1%. Uh, 0.9 sometimes down to 0.3 something but this is kind of in that middle etc so yes it is it's d2 and that formula seems to vary by manufacturer so you know it's one of those things that comes in as d2 but the formula can vary from the usa throughout china and wherever else too Okay, next up, we've got petrified fish, you know, P-E. And this is in gray. So this is a candidate, actually, for me to maybe die, but I think you'd only go maybe to a, a blue or something because it's a little dark gray to do anything else with. But uh, I like these petrified fish knives. They're interesting. Um, they're... I'd say they're a grade of like, you know, like the rest of these here. You know, they're G10 D2 flippers or 14C28N, that kind of thing. So they, they all feel pretty sound. Uh, they're centered. You know, they, they seem pretty well put together, especially for no more than you pay for these things. I mean, they're like anywhere from $26 to maybe $34, somewhere in that and that's the, nine nine, the 919, and is it D2? And yes, it is D2, and here's your vanadium content. His, of course, analyzer, yes, does, it's programmed to recognize D2, so it says it's D2. 11.54 in the chromium range, uh, your iron, and uh, vanadium up here. So, yes, molly, whatever. And yes, it is according to my metallurgy guy. And next, of course, is the 929. And this petrified fish, interesting boxes, aren't they? Kind of, you know. Um, so, that's cool. Yeah, I, I mean, I've been contacted by several viewers that really like these. This I bought because it was red, and I thought, that's great, you know? And then I got it. And then I said, what? What are they doing? See, I, I mean, I saw this view of a knife and I thought, well, they got a red knife, are you red or black. And I thought I chose uh, red. And But they actually do make this knife red and black. I mean, it's intentional. And don't even ask me why, because it's absolutely insane. And I was pissed when I got it because I go, come on. Come on. So, okay, here we go. Uh, but they say it's D2. It's nice. It's got great action to it. These are pretty cool knives. And it's D2. Yes, it is. There's your vanadium again. So really, if you look at the 929, you know, and the 919 together, ooh, they're right on, aren't they? I mean, they are really, really close. Uh, with their uh, composition. So, absolutely, uh, you know, came out of the same batch, probably. That's that row, number... And next up is the QSP Parrot, which QSP is, you know, around at many, many dealers in the USA. And one viewer was saying, you know, have you guys ever tested the 440C? And... Uh, I, I guess we had never done that. I think we had tested some QSP knives before on our spreadsheet and stuff, and they'd been logged, but not the 440. Uh, not like it was that important regardless, but we had never. And so we don't have a Rockwell on it, but the Rockwells we've had on other QSP knives have been fine. Um, but here's the 440, and yes, it is 440. And... Um, there's your uh, elementals. Okay, of course, chromium's much higher on 440 because it's a true stainless, etc., etc. Oh, this this is not glare. I guess this is part of the print here. 
So, all righty. Next up is uh, SRM. And we got several SRM knives in here. We've got three of them, actually. Uh, these are interesting. This is the 9201, and they're saying this is in D2. And it's got, you know, like I said, access lock to it. These are very inexpensive. Right hand, left hand, tip up carry. Uh, actually, I've had some comments from some viewers who are, you know, like the SRM line and we're curious about that. So the 9201 is what that is. It says it's a D2 and yes, it does register as D2. Here's your chromium, vanadium, all these in here. And yes, it is. Next up. We've got the 1168. Now, I believe it says, yes, 1168. It says D2. It's a liner lock. Interesting look, huh? Uh, open design. Tip up carry. Oh, no left hand on this one, just right hand. But good looking knife, huh? Not bad. Uh, I know there's some people out there that have told me they really like it. Uh, and yes, it's real D2. There's your vanadium, there's your chromium, iron, etc. Okay. So, I mean, these are all, so far, they've all actually been true to form. But that doesn't surprise me, Petrified Fish uh, or Free Tiger or QSP and really SRM because that's San Ren Mu, right? Which also makes real steel knives and all that. Oh. I guess we knocked you off, didn't we, buddy? Going up seeing a box, not a knife. Okay, so, oh, and the invisible knife. Imagine in your head the Ferrum Forge Stinger. I guess I should have printed off a picture of one or something. But the Ferrum Forge Stinger is Nitro V. Yes, it is. And Nitro V, yes. Here you go. Here's your vanadium. Here's your chromium. Okay, so it's not a true stainless, etc. Then, of course, we've got our little Para 3 in Spy 27. Interesting. I like this Spy 27. Talk to Michael Janich at Spyderco about that. And uh, it's, you know, it's got, put the cobalt in it, right? And he goes, you put a little bit, well, that's what Sal was saying. I mean, really saying that you put cobalt in there, it kind of makes everything better. It improves the mix. But look at the vanadium level, 2.8%. So that's really pretty high vanadium for a user steel. It's not trying to pretend it's a super steel or anything, but there's your chromium. So it's a true stainless. And then you got the vanadium and there's your iron. So your cobalt, your molly, etc. So hmm. interesting, isn't it? And in case you didn't know what was in Spy 27. Now let's go to the next one. Critical strike. It's critical. It's going to strike. And yeah, there it is. Interesting knives, you know, and I, I tell you the truth, I really don't give a rat's ass if they're 9CR, 8CR, D2, 440, whatever. I mean, to me, they're a user beater, as long as it's a blade steel, which all those uh, aforementioned are blade steels that actually do work. Uh, so, you know, and it's a budget knife, but I like the design, huh? And guess what? It's red on both sides. Hell, who figured that shit out? Um, so deep carry. Well, no, 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 no. Not deep carry and not left hand. Ah, crap. Oh, well. But I, yeah, that's long and that's thin, but it's, it's kind of interesting. You know, pretty cool. Is it 9CR18? Because that's, that's what they're saying. Okay, right there it says... 9CR18. Is it really? No. No, it's not. Got a liar here. Uh, there's your vanadium. Uh, there's your chromium. Of course, it's right. You know, that's uh, that's more like a, a, a 13. Uh, and here's your iron, etc. Molly, whatever. But, yeah. And so he was making notes here because he... 
he has a degree in metallurgy and and he was going yes this chromium it should be approximately 18 percent nine and then cr 13 cr 18 well this is closer to 13 than 18 although you know it's higher than 13 but it's lower than 18 and do i give a rat's butt no not really but okay and then he's talking about you know the the molly's off too that kind of thing so no it's acr 13 you know that's the best that's the best uh, answer for that particular formula and critical strike again now this one claims that it's d2 and check that one out i think it's nice and it's a deep carry on this one right hand only interesting blade shape isn't it and really i mean this is you know a nice quality uh, g10 knife like all these really are actually I, I haven't picked a loser yet out of the bunch in in my estimation but they're all really cool i like this one this is really interesting okay so we missed on this critical strike so is this one gonna hit it this is the 503 right or is it s503 yeah, it's the S503L. S503L, D2. Yes, it is. So it's actually D2 as stated. So why was the 9CR really 8CR? Hmm. You know, you look at the elements and you get, yeah, I'm not going to do a lot of crying over that. Um, but here's your vanadium. Here's your chromium, etc. So yeah, yeah, it's D2. And of course, the machine's programmed to come up with that. And last, but not certainly not least, and this is con controversial uh, because this one is the 9211. Is that wild? This is really a cool looking SRM knife. I like SRM stuff. 9211. And what does it say it is? 8CR13, huh? I'll bet they're lying. I'll bet it's really M390. Okay, they're not lying. It's 8CR13. And there you go. I mean, there's your vanadium. There's your chromium. So the 9CR on the critical strike was like, yeah, another percent above that. It's odd. But here we go. So uh, a lot of these steels are very, very closely related elementally. So yeah, yeah. It's uh, 8CR13. Why did I send this in to test it? Who gives a rat's ass? I guess it's not a 5CR, so at least we got that one straightened out. But yeah, that's elegant lines, isn't it? Interesting knife. I, I, I don't know. I, just, I thought this was an interesting group, by the way, to send in. Let me see if I can just pull this back. And, yeah, there you go. It, I thought it was a really kind of an interesting group to send in. I, I wasn't looking for anything on the Para 3 other than I was just interested in seeing the Elemental Breakout, which I'm sure has been published on the Spyderco forums and elsewhere, but I just hadn't seen it. And I just thought it'd be neat. The rest of these were fascinating because I wasn't sure, okay, uh, were they true to form. But the SRM knives are... Uh, the one critical strike was off uh, and, you know, we're good. We're good shape. So interesting group, budget, definitely budget users, but I think budget users are a lot of fun. I just get a big kick out of them. Here's our group right here. So if you need to screenshot it and I'm going to post this at the top of the comment section and also in the description section so you can you know, you can capture this if you want for your own records, okay? And boys, have a great one. And you know what we do. We love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.